it's good because even in the component of like what your niche and what you bring to the table, that connection of that wholeness, like mm -hmm. the, to, for me, you know, you're, you're teaching me about body yeah. all the time. And it's the example that you give. It's the way that you share about the things that you do, whether it's via mm -hmm. our Facebook live groups or right. things like that and that mindset shift. But it, the body is where for me, it really all started. Mm -hmm. Um, and it was, it was body shaming. It was, um, what I expected myself to look like and coming from an athletic home. Um, I remember getting my BMI measured when I was coming home from college. Oh, wow. I remember yeah. the time that I quit gymnastics full time competitively. And my Nana told me that it looked like I had gained weight. I was 14. Oh, wow. And then I remember the freshman 15, mm -hmm. I was like demanding that I wouldn't get it. So I did the opposite and I lost 15 pounds my freshman year. Yeah. And so just there were so many components yeah. of my body that on, from the outside looking in, yeah. it was perfect. We just need to learn how to be comfortable in our own skin, yeah. whatever yeah. that may be. And yeah. if you're not comfortable in it, then how do we, how mm -hmm. do we get there? Yeah. You know? take action like yeah. let's just be healthy yeah be, and I always tell the women in the gym to stop eating for weight loss yeah if you are gonna eat yeah. for weight loss yeah you are never gonna achieve mm -hmm. that level of just health that yeah. that you deserve yeah. if you eat for health and truly like nourish and fuel your body yeah. um, things start to happen yeah we just try to play all these games and bad diets and gimmicks and True. We just can't do it. Yeah. We just can't do that. We're not going to stick to it. Yeah. You know, so it's just how do you shift that yeah. mindset to what food should look like? Right. right.